around this wintry question by answering what is the winter solstice zoom in the winter solstice is one of the most fascinating events in earth's annual cycle around the sun it marks the shortest day and longest night of the year but it also signals the beginning of our planet's gradual return to longer, brighter days. But what exactly is happening around this time and why does it matter? To truly understand this phenomenon, we must explore how Earth's tilt and movement through space created the rhythm of the seasons. Earth travels around the sun once every 365 days. But it doesn't sit upright as it orbits. Instead, it's tilted at about 23.5 degrees relative to its orbital plane, a tilt that is the primary reason we experience seasons at all. During the winter solstice, which usually occurs on December 21st or 22nd, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted farthest from the Sun. This tilt causes sunlight to strike the Northern Hemisphere at a shallow angle, spreading the Sun's rays over a larger area and reducing both their warmth and intensity. As a result, daylight hours are shorter and the air grows colder. At this moment, the Sun's apparent path across the sky known as the solar arc, is at its lowest. The sun rises late, stays close to the horizon even at noon and sets early. For people living north of the equator, this results in the shortest day of the year. Meanwhile, in the southern hemisphere, where the tilt leans toward the sun, people experience the summer solstice the longest day at shortest night. After the winter solstice, however, something remarkable begins to happen. Although the tilt of Earth's axis remains unchanged, its position in orbit continues to shift. As the planet moves along its elliptical path, the northern hemisphere slowly begins to tilt back towards the sun. With each passing day, sunlight becomes slightly stronger and lasts a bit longer. At first, by only seconds, then by minutes. This steady increase in daylight continues until the vernal equinox in March, when day and night are roughly equal in length. From there, the days keep lengthening until we reach the summer solstice around June 20th to 22nd, when the Northern Hemisphere is tilted most directly toward the Sun. This entire progression from winter to summer beautifully demonstrates how Earth's constant tilt and orbit create the cyclic rhythm of light and darkness that defines our seasons. It is no wonder that even ancient civilizations recognize the winter solstice as a powerful moment of transformation. Each year, as the longest night passes, we are reminded not only of the mechanics of our tilted world, but also of the enduring hope that brighter days are always on the horizon. Trivia time! Did you know the word solstice comes from the Latin solstitium, meaning sun stands still. For a few days around this event, the sun's position at sunrise and sunset 
barely changes, giving the impression that it has paused in its journey before reversing direction. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Ethan Lee. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. So, kitty, that's why the day feels so short today. Oh, never mind.